Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here where we've got $10,000 invested at 6.8% per annum compounding yearly. And we want to write the recurrence relation that shows the value of that investment at the end of each year, at the end of the year. So a recurrence relation is a formula that represents the compounding interest on a term by term basis, on a year by year basis in this case. So it'll work out for each year how much is going to be in the account. So to do that we actually have a rule for this and that rule is that our next term in our sequence a n plus 1 is given to us by r times our current value that we have. So a n plus 1 is our next term, the end, the value at the end of this year that we're currently trying to work out. r basically represents our rate increase that we're getting and a n represents the amount that we had previously. So a few things we need to work out before we can even get started. The first thing we want to work out is a zero, our first term, how much money we're starting with in our investment. And this is our principal, so this is our $10,000 that we're going to invest. So we have a zero is 10,000. The next thing we're going to want to work out is R. Now R is actually going to be one plus our interest rate I as a decimal. So we need to work out little i first. So i is our interest rate 6.8% per annum, but we need to divide that by 100 to turn that into a decimal. So we get 0 0.068. And we'd also have to consider dividing it by how many times it happens each year, but because this is happening yearly, we don't need to worry about that for this problem. So then we can go back to r. r is going to be 1 plus that 0 0.068, which means that r is 1.068. And so now we can go and have a look at our problem here. So we can finally write our recurrence relationship. I know everything. I know the formula. So our relationship is going to be a n plus 1 is going to be r, which is 1.068, multiplied by a n. And lastly, we finish off by saying where our first term, a 0, is 10,000. And so that is our recurrence relationship. That is our final answer. The formula that works out how much is in our account at the end of each year is 1.068 times the previous year, where our first year we started off with $10,000.